What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a video all about the worst drugstore products I have ever tried. Most of these products like I genuinely tried to like as you would with any product that you you know you try to make it work when you spend your dollar dollar bills on it but I'm just telling you right now these products are one not worth your money two not even worth trying for the most part and three just things that I really felt done did me dirty so you guys know I've been doing my drugstore series I'm so happy that you guys have been liking it and I'm gonna continue doing lots more drugstore videos so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and if you want to see lots more drugstore videos for me Hey, let's go ahead and get started. Now, obviously, first off, first and foremost, I have to tell you guys a little disclaimer. If I say something that, you know, didn't work for me, if I name a product that didn't work for me and you love it with all of your heart, obviously keep doing it. You know, you do you. Some stuff that doesn't work for me may work for you guys, and that's okay. That's why there are so many different products in the world, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna get in with one product that I just, like... I almost have nightmares about it, you know, like thinking back on it, I just kind of shiver. And it's actually from a brand that I personally really, really, really love. Like there are so many of my holy grail drugstore products from this brand, and it is NYX. But I just, I'm gonna lay it down for you guys. I'm gonna lay it down real nice and honest. This powder is like my worst nightmare for one reason or another. So basically, so this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. Now, first off, the powder itself is very thin. Do you see it's like literally just coming out of the the, um, the little bottle um, as soon as I open the cap? But even further than that, like I'm telling you guys, it's such a thin powder, which already off the bat, I know that my personal preference, I don't like th thin powders like this. I like it to have like a little bit thick of... Wow, I can't really talk today, but I like it to have a little bit more thickness, a little bit more grit, like something like the Laura Mercier powder or the Cody Airspun. Those have a little bit more grit to them, so you can bake a lot easier with them. Powders like this already, like, I don't love just because of the texture. You know, everybody has their own preferred textures to work with, and this is definitely not mine. But even further than that, I did really try to use it, to love it, to try it out for you guys. Um, and I tried to work with it, and when when I used this, I kid you not, I looked like Casper the Friendly Ghost underneath my eyes. It has the worst flashback I have ever seen. Like, I've literally never seen another powder with this bad of flashback. Like, it almost looked like it had flashback even when I didn't wasn't using flash photography, which I don't understand how that was happening. But I would take a picture, like, on my phone or, you know, on wherever, like, on a camera with no flash, and I kid you not, it would have white underneath my eyes. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I tried it out two or three times to make sure it was that and not like the concealer or the foundation or something else. And no, I'm telling you, it was this. So I don't recommend this. Um, like I said, there are so many products from NYX that I genuinely like, but I just like, for me, this is no-go. And <laughs> I got something stuck in my throat, but um, actually one of my friends, Kyra, I'll see you. Um, she tried this out, or when I, I had said that on Snapchat, like that whole little story, and when I did, when I talked about it, she was like, dude, legit, that powder did the same thing on me. So I don't know if it was just for us or what, but it's, it's no bueno for me. Um, okay, next product that I really don't like this product from Wet n Wild. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Impact Mascara. Again, Wet n Wild are a great brand that I like a lot because they are one of the more affordable drugstore brands, but this product particularly is so horrendous for me. So first off, I actually had high hopes for this because I liked the wand, like I liked how it looked um, when I first took it out, and I was like, oh, okay, well we see Wet n Wild, we see with that bristle wand, like I love, I love wands like this that are very fat and thick and like can give you a lot of volume but let me tell you this is the driest mascara I have ever used in my lifetime like I don't even understand how dry it was so it was so dry that I almost thought it was like a mistake like I thought I had gotten one that was like a lemon so I went back and I repurchased it a second time and same thing like it just it flies over my head I don't understand how it's so dry like watch when I put it on my how is that possible? Like, literally, do you see this? Like, I'm literally rubbing so hard, and, like, nothing comes out of the, tu of the tube or, like, off of the wand. I just, I don't understand how 
anybody would be able to work with this mascara honestly because it is so dry it just kind of like flakes off no product comes off it's just a strange 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 formula for me um, in general I do like more wet mascaras and I have heard some people say that they like a drier formula but I mean girl or boy you know honey this ain't gonna work for I don't think this is gonna work very easily for anybody so not really a mascara I would recommend especially because there are so many drugstore mascaras that are bomb.com you know what I mean like I feel like mascaras are definitely one of the strong suits that the drugstore has so go for the Maybelline Big Shot go for the L'Oreal Voluminous go for you know carbon black I think that's the same thing as the L'Oreal Voluminous but yeah just in general like I feel like the drugstore has a lot of great mascaras so go for one of those <laughs> Next product that I want to talk about, honestly I know that I'm going to get like a lot of hate for this because I've talked about it before and I've talked about how I don't like it. I've talked about that before in videos and basically everyone's just like, no you're not using it right, no you're doing this, you're not doing this, you're not doing this, but at the end of the day, I personally still do not like this product and again a, pro a brand that I really love honestly all of these brands there are hits and misses for me like there's obviously gonna be products that I absolutely love that I could live and die and breathe for and then there's gonna be products that like I personally find very difficult to work with and this is one of those products from elf so this is their baked highlighter um, I know this comes in three shades and I used to hear so many good things about this particular product and specifically this shade and honestly in the pan I think it does look really really beautiful like as the lights sh kind of shining off of it it just looks like it's gonna be beautiful you know what I mean but I'm telling you guys like there is barely any pigment that comes off of this especially when you're using a brush I find that when I apply it to the cheeks and you guys know I like a lot of highlight so I may be a little bit biased because I really like a creamy formula when I use this like I get nothing on my cheeks and you know like I had said before people are always like you know you're using it wrong you have to scrape it off you have to get to the inside you have to wet it I've tried wetting it and it does nothing I've tried scraping a little bit off and it literally does nothing you guys like I just feel again why would I continue to use something that all of a sudden like I'm using wrong or like I have to do all these things to when there are so many other highlights that are bomb that are still affordable you know what I mean like I just feel like your money would be better spent on either other elf products that is does not include this highlighter um, like their blush palette is awesome or a highlighter that is actually good like maybe I don't know the wet and wild ones are awesome the Milani ones are great um, pixie beauties Aspen Ovard collaboration was amazing so there definitely are like options for highlighters from the drugstore oh my god you guys side note i'm sorry i'm getting very very distracted oh did you see this why don't i just bring it up right now i've got a little giveaway for you guys in this video um i was gonna save it to the end but i feel like you are you already kind of like stole a peep there so i'm gonna be giving away another one of the jaclyn hill morphe pellets um and all you have to do to enter to win this giveaway is be subscribed to my channel give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your worst drugstore product experience or the worst drugstore product in your opinion that you've tried because girl we gonna get some today okay and when i say girl you know that's you know it's just a phrase for me you know what i mean like i'm not actually saying that makeup is just for girls because it is definitely not makeup is definitely just for anyone and everybody who wants to um wear it and experiment and get creative okay you guys i'm getting way off topic it's like 9 p.m right now and i'm usually asleep by now so i'm like I'm wired up right now um, but what I was gonna say was this is an amazing drugstore highlighter um, my friend Madison we did like a little collab and she had the LA girl strobe light strobing powders and um, she showed me them and whoo, they are pigmented I really 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 love this formula so anyways side note on the giveaway for this video side note on the highlighter that I do recommend let's get back to the products that I do not recommend so I have a product from Milani next and it is this guy right here this is a little bit of an older product I don't actually know if they still make it but if they do I want to tell you guys right now do not spend you spend you yes do not spend you <laughs> do not spend your hard-earned money on this because honestly I just, I just, it's just a confusing product for me, honestly. So this is the Milani Fierce 
sorry, Milani Milan Fierce Foil Eye Shine. So basically, this is supposed to be a foiled eyeshadow, but let me just show you the formula. I mean, I just don't understand it. It's like, it's not a cream. I, it might look like a cream on camera, but honestly, it's not. Like, it's almost like they took a lip gloss and, like, tried to put it into an eyeshadow. And it looks pretty when you swatch it. I will put that out there. But the thing is, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when you're, like, a little kid and you have those, like, makeup palettes that are just, you know, probably terrible and, like, not great ingredients and whatever and there's like those lip glosses that are basically just goo like they literally are goo in like a little pan that is kind of what this reminds me of for some reason and I just feel like if you're going for an eyeshadow like I've tried to use this several times and it just creases so badly because like I said it's not a cream it doesn't set down it's actually like a glossy formula for some reason and it creases like no other and if I'm going for a foiled eyeshadow like I feel like there are other affordable options out there that are bomb you know like um, I'm trying to give you guys affordable options here you know for all everything that I'm saying is bad I'm trying to like give you guys some options that are actually good but the Makeup Geek foiled shadows are amazing amazing they're like six dollars I think which is honestly pretty affordable um also the um Maybelline color tattoo range is really good and you're gonna get kind of the same vibe of effect you know what I mean but yeah I do not recommend these because just the texture itself is weird it's kind of hard to t tell you guys or to show you the texture because it looks pretty I you know I know it looks pretty here but trust trust me on this it's gonna crease really badly and we don't want that for my rock stars. Okay, let's move on to lippies because I feel like we can all kind of agree on what's a good and bad lip product, you know? Um, actually, you know, I stand corrected because this particular product, I have heard so many people rave on and on about and whenever I try to use it, it's just... And genuinely, like, I do hate saying that because, again, I love this brand. I'm not trying to be negative Nancy over here, but... Just trying to keep it real with you guys. Um, but these liquid lipsticks from Milani. Now, I cannot even count how many times I've heard people rave on and on about how good the formula is. And I'm telling you, whenever I've tried to use it, I don't know if it's user error, if I'm just like layering on too much product or what's happening. But whenever I have tried to use any shade, but particularly this one, which is called Craze, which is actually my favorite shade out of the whole collection. I think that the collection is beautiful, like the color range. But whenever I have tried to use it, my lips just get so crusty. Like it's like the crusty crab of been here for all you spongebob lovers like me um i'm not joking like i've never felt my lips so dry as when i wear this like i literally feel like a dinosaur or something and i'm telling you like i love the color love 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 it just sucks because i wish i could wear it because hello summer okay but i'm telling you like whenever it dries down especially on the darker shades as well they get like i can't even explain it it like literally starts to like peel off of my lips because it's so crusty and like I just feel like that's not you know that's not really cute I don't really want to be walking around with like crusty lips like that um but like I said the color range is really nice honestly um I just I really don't like the formula let me know honestly down below if you guys have tried these and what you guys think because I'm not even kidding you like how many people have talked about these and have just raved about them and been like they're the best liquid lipsticks at the drugstore blah 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 and I'm just like what am I doing wrong like what is happening to my lips that is not happening to everybody else's because I'm not even joking like I, I need to go on snapchat one day and like just put them on put one on and like show you guys because I'm like literally not kidding it will like crust off it's a whole thing on its own. I don't even know about that. There's one other lip collection that I don't really recommend to you guys. Um, and it is this from Jordana. Which, honestly, Jordana, like, I feel like they're a pretty underrated brand. They have a lot of cool products that I think are definitely worth your money. But these, particularly, I don't like because I'm just not a huge fan of, like, crayons and stuff like this like I feel like if I want a lipstick then I'll go with a lipstick if I want more of like a lip balm then I would go with a lip balm like I don't want it to be like halfway in the middle almost and these particularly because I don't find them to be that moisturizing they're actually very 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 sheer on me um like you literally get no color payoff like that's pretty much as 
as good as it's gonna get for you and I just feel like it's not that moisturizing on me and you know I don't know if it's just me because all these lip products that I'm mentioning that I don't like um, that's like the, the complaint that I'm seeing a common trend in is that it's drying or it's not moisturizing or whatever but honestly I don't have like extremely dry lips I drink so much water I drink like I drink like three to four liters of water a day ask anybody I know ask Yesenia ask Kyra ask like literally any of my friends tweet them message them DM them ask Jess whatever they will tell you that I'm like a crazy person when it comes to water and so that's why I'm like always confused when these lip products, especially these because they literally are called the Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. That's literally in the name that it's supposed to be moisturizing and I feel like it dries my lips out. So I don't really get it. Um, these definitely don't work for me. I never reach for them. Never, never, never. Um, and I don't really recommend them even if you are looking for like a tinted balm stain sort of thing. I would personally just go with like a tinted lip balm. Like, you know, Burt's Bees has them. Um, Maybelline has them in the baby lips. They have like tons of different ones now. So not something that I would recommend. And another product... Like, I swear I'm not trying to pick on, like, specific brands or anything, but another product from NYX, you guys know, I've said it already, but I do like NYX a lot, but this is another product. This, these are probably the only two products that I really, really dislike from NYX, and everything else I feel is, like, pretty solid. But this concealer, I am telling you, I have never seen such a dry concealer in my lifetime. Like, let me just, let me just try to dig some out with my nail because there's no other way to get it. But like, when I, oy, I can't even like, it's hard for me to even swatch this one, honestly. But when I rub it out, it like, feels like it's gonna be oily at first. First impression, that's what I thought. I thought it was gonna be a very oily concealer and I thought it was gonna crease. Then, for some reason or another, when you blend it out, like when you continue to blend, I am telling you, it is the most drying concealer I have ever used in my life. And I'm just like, what is happening? Like, I don't have dry skin, I have oily skin, I drink a lot of water, my lips aren't dry. Why are all these products so dry on me? Like, I just literally don't I even comprehend it. But nonetheless, this concealer is definitely not something that I would recommend for under the eyes. I have used it before um, as a brow bone highlight or like to clean up the brows and it's actually okay for that to be completely honest so if you have this and you don't like this um maybe use it for that because I find that it works okay for that honestly because since the te texture is like a little bit more a little like thicker almost it actually does kind of set the brows or like set the area around the brows nicely but under the eyes no that's a no for me um even on like acne um pimples and breakouts I don't like it because I like to um, kind of treat those areas with a little bit more hydration just because then they won't like flake off. They won't get like those weird dry patches. So yeah, don't really recommend. But if you already have it, try it on the brow bone and hopefully that helps you use it up. Alrighty, we've got a few more products to get through. The next one being one that I've actually already talked about in my um, worst drugstore foundations or best and worst drugstore foundations. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out. I just talked about my best foundation or like the best foundations for me and the worst foundations. And this one definitely fell into the worst category for me. So it is from e.l.f. Um, I could never find the actual name of the foundation because it's actually not on the bottle. I do love the packaging. I will put that out there. I think that e.l.f. actually did a really nice job with this packaging because I like it when it's like basic and clean like this. But let me just get into the foundation. So I, like I said, I had talked about this already in my foundations video. So if you already seen that, you kind of already know my thoughts. But it was strange because this foundation, like, at first, it looks like it's gonna be very full coverage, to me at least, and it has, like, a creamy finish, but when you're blending it out, it, like, almost shears out to nothing. When I had it on my face, it was, like, like a literal, like, um, it was less than a BB cream for me, um, and... In general, I already like more full coverage foundations, or at least medium coverage, like, I do tend to lean towards the fuller coverage, the medium to full, whatever. So that in itself wasn't a great start for me. But on top of that, it actually creased so horribly on me and it was just like a hot mess, honestly. I really, 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 really did not like this foundation. Um, the one good thing about it, it didn't have flashback. I did try it with flash photography and it did not have flashback. But other than that, it was not easy to wear. It wasn't long wearing. It wasn't enough coverage for my preference and just in general not a good pick 
in my opinion, especially, again, there's so many good drugstore foundations out there, and definitely you can find something that is, like, on a budget, like, sorry, what am I even saying? That is exactly what you're looking for on a budget, you know what I mean? There's so many dupe videos out there, so definitely go for something else, not for this guy, in my opinion. And, okay, so this next product is, again, like, something that I feel there are already so many good drugstore options, and this is just like not one of them. I've never even really heard of this brand to be honest, but I got it when I used to live in Vancouver and there was this little store in Metro Town and I forget what it was called now, but um, I went in there one day and I saw this and I was like, oh, that actually looks really nice. Like it looks like it could be kind of like a dupe for higher end um, contouring palettes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It is so, so crazy. Like I can't even, I almost don't even know where to start with this. So, first off, the the shadows themselves look like they're going to be pigmented. When you start to blend them, blend them out, again, it's like very patchy. It almost then blends out to nothing and it doesn't even look like you've applied contour, which is like a little strange. Um, but even beyond that, I feel like the shade range is not great, honestly. It does come with like four different highlighters. Um, and then like three contours if you can even call this one a contour which I mean yes if you're very 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 fair but even for my skin tone this was like a little bit light like even the darkest shade over here was too light for me pretty much and that may be the formula that it just blended out so well that I couldn't see it anymore um but if you are any darker than me this would be a complete waste of money because it is just it's not dark enough like they don't have enough options for darker skin tones and deeper skin tones so i just like i just would not would not bother with this nyx has an amazing contour palette at the drugstore i tr definitely go for that one over this one if you ever see this again i don't even know where they sell la colors but um try to avoid it Okay, the last product is a brow product. You guys know I'm already, like, pretty picky with brow products in general. Um, and this particular one was so difficult for me to work with. So this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Pencil. I know there's, like, quite a few e.l.f. products. Well, there's three. Um, honestly, I really do love e.l.f. And I think they're an amazing brand, especially for the price point. They're definitely one of the more affordable brands at the drugstore. But these products specifically and, you know... This, this one specifically, just like did not work for me. Um, so, like I said, this is the brow pencil. I did like that it came with a spoolie on one end. I think that's definitely a plus. I think honestly e.l.f. is kind of stepping it up with their um, packaging game, but the actual pencil itself, let me just tell you, it is so difficult for me particularly, but I think for a lot of people to work with brow pencils when they are this thick. Like, I don't know if you can see how thick that is, but I'm telling you, oh my gosh, I literally have like setting powder everywhere. I have lipstick here. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. You get the picture. It is a thick pencil if you want to call it even a pencil. Like, I feel like it's double the size of, like, a Brow Wiz or even the Maybelline Brow Pencils, the L'Oreal Brow Pencils. Like, those are probably half the size in, um, diameter. Diameter or radius? The radius is half the size of this. Okay. Um, um, so, first off, it's very difficult to work with because as soon as you start applying it, you get a thick, line and especially when you get to the tail ends like you want to be very light-handed with your brow product um especially if for like for most people i would say they kind of taper down you know on the ends this is so difficult to get that taper because it just applies so much product right away the color i do like i think that it is actually a very nice cool tone brown to work with for my brow color or whatever like for my brows um but i will say that it's literally just the formula that i didn't like i don't like the size of the pencil i feel like the actual formula is very chunky so like when you're applying it almost like little chunks get caught in my hair <laughs> in my brow hair i mean and it just looks kind of crazy you know like it doesn't look smooth it does not look natural it doesn't look like hairs because you can't create hair like strokes because it's just so thick that it's like very 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 difficult to work with okay that 
is it for this video. That is, or those are all of the um, drugstore products that like really have not worked for me. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not just trying to be negative here. Like I have actually tried to use these products several, several, several times over and just have found that they're hopeless for me. Um, comment down below if you have any of these products and you know how to use them because maybe it is user error. Like, I'm telling you, I've seen so many people raving about these and I'm just like, what am I doing wrong? By the way, look, can you see that one like crusting off on the sides? That's what I was talking about. I can't. I don't know why that happens. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and, you know, found some products that aren't really going to be worth your money. I know they're drugstore, I know they're affordable, but honestly, I don't feel like these products are worth your money. I don't want you guys to waste your money, and those are just my thoughts. So, hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let's try to get this video to 5,000 thumbs ups. I don't know if that's going to be possible, honestly, but... Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Um, and don't forget to enter the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette giveaway if you want to win the palette. I did actually use it today. I've been using it a lot, but I used it today to create this eye look, and I think it's actually like a really, really nice palette, so I'm so excited for one of you guys to have it. And I want to say thank you guys so much for um, just all the love and everything that you've been showing on my last video. So that video, I put up a summer lookbook, which is something so different. Like I've never really done anything like it on my channel. And it was so much fun to make, like so much fun to shoot, to edit, to just create in general. Um, even though it was literally like, I felt like it was 130 degrees outside, even though it was probably like 110, but like it was so hot. My makeup was melting off. I just like, I don't even know, but like I said, it was so, so much fun to create and probably like my favorite video I've ever put out on my YouTube channel or honestly favorite, like the most fun project I've ever worked on thus far. Um, and yeah, I just like hearing you guys, you know, show your love and like um, reading all your sweet, sweet comments. It really, really like brought it back home for me and just like it makes everything worth it. So I just want to say thank you guys. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it down below for you guys. Check it out because I'm really proud of this video. Low key spent like, you know, 10, 15 hours editing it, but that's all right. But yeah, I am actually very, re really, really, really happy with how the video turned out. So I'd love for you to guys to check it out. Um, I'll link it down below as well as maybe somewhere on the screen if I get a little fancy like that. And that is going to be it for this video. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so, so, so much. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.